Praise the Lord. bless all of you all that are joining us on this morning live stream. We're practicing social distances and we bless God for another day, another chance, another opportunity to be in the house of the Lord and our awesome praise team and musician and two praise dancers, my lovely wife with the awesome prayer. You just joining us today, we want you to know that God is still in control and we talked about last Sunday, amen, uh, we've been in a series entitled The Spirit of the Lord is Progressing. We want to continue to talk about that on this morning, The Spirit of the Lord is pro Progressing, amen, part two. I, I want you to just look real quickly in the book of Philippians, the fourth chapter, Philippians 4, and I'm going to go down to the 12th verse and Philippians 4 and 12. Praise God. Praise God. I'm excited about what God is doing. Amen. He's yet in the blessing business, and we can continue to know that he's on our side. And so if you look at Philippians 4 and the 12th verse, Philippians 4 and 12, and I'm going to just read it uh, in this version, and it says here, he says that I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether I'm well fed or whether I'm hungry, or whether I'm living in plenty or whether I'm living in want. Then he says that in the 13th verse, the Apostle Paul says, I can do all things through him, Jesus Christ, who gives me strength, who strengthens me. And when you look at the Apostle Paul here, he's encouraging believers while he was in prison. So he's writing this letter from prison. He's in a pandemic. He's, he's in lockdown right now. But he, he, he lock, writes this letter encouraging believers, amen, to keep the faith and to stay strong and to think about and obtain everything that God has promised you. And I want you to know that just because the times that we're in right now seem like that we may be limited to where we can go and where we can do, what we can do, God is still in control and we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. And this is what we're talking about this morning. The spirit of the Lord is progressing. And I come to tell you that with your self-confidence and with your self-awareness and with your self-deliverance, you're going to make it. You're going to be all right in Jesus' name. And I come to tell you again that as Paul began to encourage us, he let us know that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. And I come to tell you that it's about to be bigger. It's about to be better. It's about to be brighter in the name of Jesus. Why? Because God is in control. And I want you to know that even what you're facing right now, you may be birthing something out of your need or something out of your necessity. But the Apostle Paul said, I've learned the secret. And there's a secret that we have as people of God. We learn the secret. We learn to hold on when things get a little rough. We learn to press in when it seems like there's no way. We learn to give God the praise when everything is going crazy. And in the midst of it, we find out that the Spirit of the Lord is in progress. So in every situation that you're facing right now, always be joyful. Always be praying. Never stop praying. Whatever happens, give God thanks because it's God's will in Christ Jesus that you do this. You look at you ought to tell yourself, my God, God's got his eyes on me. And God's got his eyes on you. That means that God's looking at you right now. He's seeing you from afar. And he's not too far that he can't reach what you have right now, what you're in need of. We have not a high priest that cannot be touched by our infirmities, my God. And I want you to know right now that when you begin to focus on the Lord, knowing that his eyes is upon you, you begin to find yourself saying, I've learned to rejoice in all times. I've learned to never stop 
stop praying. Even though situations arise, I've learned to, whatever it happens, give God thanks because God has placed his will on the inside of us. So whatever's going on in this world right now, whatever's going on around you has nothing to do with it. It cannot deplete you because the greater one is on the inside of you. The Spirit of the Lord is expiring me right now to go on and believe. You gotta, you gotta tell yourself, the Spirit of the Lord is inspiring me right now to go on and believe that I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna get through this pandemic time. I'm gonna get through the lack. I'm gonna get through the loss. I'm gonna get through whatever is going on right now. I'm gonna get through this because God is on my side and he reminds us that we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We're not ignorant of Satan's schemes. Whatever those things may be, Satan meant it for your bad, but God meant it for something beneficial to come out of this. He meant it for your good, and that's a good place to give God some praise because he meant it for your good. So whatever's going on right now, know this right here, that the Spirit of the Lord is moving in Jesus' name. My God. And you're going to make it. You're going to make it in Jesus' name because can't nobody do you like Jesus. And you can do all things through Jesus who strengthens you. He gives you the strength. He gives you the power. He gives you the potential. He gives you the peace. And then he turns around and shows you your purpose. That's the kind of God we serve. Continue to wait on the grace of the Lord. And you're going to experience divine strength. You're going to rise with soaring wings and fly like eagles. And you will run in this race without growing tired. And you'll walk through life without giving up. You'll begin to find yourself, amen, giving God the greatest praise because your pause is getting you ready to get rid of all that pain. God got you in a pause mode right now that you can reset, regroup, and be restored and to get rid of everything that came up against you. Yes, he's restoring the years that you lost. He's recalculating. He's, he's recycling everything, but he's bringing it back even better, and that's a good place to give God some praise. And I want you to know that your delay is turning into a delight. You're going to find yourself delighting in the Lord like you've never delighted him before. And when you find yourself delighting in him, he's going to give you every the very desire of your heart. It's nothing wrong with getting down and, like, and writing down like the prophet Habakkuk said, write down everything God is selling you. Write down everything that God is showing you because though the vision tarry, it's coming at an appointed time. Yes, yes, yes. There's an appointed time that's coming your way and you begin to give God some praise. And I want you to know that the Holy Spirit is working with you in your self-awareness. You are aware of all the things that are around you, aware of the things that are coming near you. You're aware of the things that's going before you. This is why the Bible says you will come in and you will go out another way. You'll be the head and you'll be the, and you won't no longer be the tail. You'll be blessed in the city and you'll be blessed in the spirit. So you're able to be alert. You're able to be well balanced because you know that the enemy, the devil, is roaming around nonstop like a roaring lion trying to find someone he can devour to take a critical stand against. But we we begin to resist Satan and we resist him. We resist all his attacks. We come up against every tactic that he brings and we come back with a strong, energetic faith. And what is faith? Faith is the thing that we cannot see right now, but it's the evidence that's going to be in our hand. So without faith, it's impossible to please God. And as you begin to stir up your faith, God's going to reward you for diligently seeking him. That's a good place to give God some praise. And the Spirit of the Lord is moving. He's progressing just because of you. You've asked him to come. You invited him to come. You called on his name, and when you called his name, you got his attention. And even in these pandemic times, God want you to make it. He wants you to know you're going to make it. He said, I wished above all things that you would prosper and be in good health, even as your soul began to prosper. And you know what it means to lack. You had some times when you were, things were absent. You had some times that you was waiting on the Lord, and then he turned around and turned those things into favor. And then he allowed you to experience the over overwhelming, abundant. What is it saying? Your pause is telling you that, hallelujah, your pain is not bigger than the blessing that's coming your way. My God, you ought to give God some praise right there. And then he allowed you to experience this overwhelming ab abundance so that you can recognize that while you were going through what you was going through, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I have been? Where would you have been if the Lord had not been on your side? You are right now in a place, in a position right now, hallelujah, that you're trained in the secret of overcoming all these things, my God. We're 
not like the world. We're in the world, but we're not of the world. My God, my God, because we begin to realize that God's hands is upon us. And if you keep your hands on the Lord and sooner before later, he's going to come and turn that thing around. The darkest part of night is right before day. And I come to tell you that even weeping may endure for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. And some of you all need to recognize that your joy is here. Your morning is here. So in refuse, amen, refuse for the enemy to think he's even getting the victory because the Bible lets us know that the power and the strength of Christ explosive power is being infused in you right now to conquer every trouble, every trial, every trick of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And now the spirit of the Lord is moving in your favor. Keep on waiting on his grace and his truth. Right now you're experiencing a, experiencing a breaking out of psychological bondage. That's a good place to give God some prayer. The spirit of the Lord is progressing right now. Your self-esteem is being lifted. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Your self-worth is expanding right now. In the name of Jesus. Your self-respect is becoming noticeable right now. In the name of Jesus. The things you used to fear, you don't fear no more because you realize that God has given you power and he's given you love and he's given you a sound mind. So way down on the inside, he's working that thing out because he started that thing right in the midst of your belly. He started that. He said, before I even formed you, I knew you when you was in your mother's belly. That good work is being performed inside of you right now. Why? Because God's got his eyes on you. You ought to give God some praise because God's got his eyes on you. His eyes are upon you. Hallelujah. And there's nothing that can go wrong. You ought to look up toward heaven and say, I will continue to look toward the hills which come at my help. Jesus said, everything I've taught you is so that my peace can be with you and you and me and I am in you and I'm going to give you greater confidence as you begin to rest upon me. Hallelujah. If you are heavy and later come unto me, I will give you rest. Learn of me. Take my yoke of me. Hallelujah. And you're going to find rest in these laughing evil days. For in this unbelieving world, you're going to experience trouble. You're going to experience sorrows. But you must be courageous. You must cheer up. For I have already conquered the world. And your mind is processing right now. All that's going through your mind right now is Jesus was there all the time. He did this just for me. If he did it for that, he's going to do it for this. And you ought to give God some praise. Hallelujah. Lord, you're so gracious. Oh, hallelujah. You providing for us in these essential needs right now. In this pandemic season, let the Lord know he's gracious and he's full of love and he's full of mercy and he's providing for you. He's our provider. Oh, hallelujah. He's our Jehovah Jireh. He's our Jehovah Shitnik. He's our Jehovah Shalom. We ought to give God praise because in these essential times right now, God is moving like never before in the name of Jesus and the spirit of the Lord is raging right now in our favor. Dearest Jesus, we give you praise. Holy Spirit, we are welcome in this place right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Begin to turn the mindsets. Oh, hallelujah. Let your spirit begin to hoover over your people right now and before in the name of Jesus. You've anointed me right now to deliver good news to the humble people. Oh, hallelujah. You sent me to heal those. Oh, hallelujah. Who are broken hearted. And I prophesy right now to those in captivity. You've been kept too long. Satan loose God's people right now in the name of Jesus. I prophesy and I command that those are watching right now shall be healed and delivered and set free right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare right now this is still the year of God. This is still the year of the acceptable of God. This is still 2020. Oh hallelujah. He had to take us back. Oh hallelujah so we can get the 2020 vision. We're coming out of this and we're coming out of this with our hands up. You need to give God the greatest praise because this is the year of goodwill and a day of vengeance of our Lord. He said I'm about to comfort my people, oh hallelujah, who are grieving, and I prophesy right now that you're about to hallelujah give God, oh hallelujah, the greatest praise because oh hallelujah, you're coming out of ashes and you're coming into joy. Your head is being crowned with the crown of hallelujah heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. And now the oil of joy is replacing your tears of sorrow right now in the name of Jesus. I prophesy your clothes are changing. My God, your clothes are changing. You're going into a clothes of praise and to the spirit of weakness. The devil thought he had you. He should have took advantage of you while he could. Now you know too much about him and you're giving God the greatest prayer. I say in the name of Jesus, arise, arise, arise and give
give God the greatest praise because the Lord's Spirit is moving upon you right now in the name of Jesus. Give God the greatest praise because he's giving you the greatest mercy. Give God the greatest praise because your comeback season is here. Give God the greatest praise because lack is turning into plentiful. In the name of Jesus, you ought to give God the greatest praise because the Spirit of the Lord is moving right now in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is moving. Jesus said, for whoever has a teachable heart, to him more understanding will be given. Whoever does not have a yearning for truth, even what he has will be taken away from him. Be diligent to understand the meaning behind everything you hear. For as you do, more understanding will be given to you. And according to the depth of your longing to understand, much more will be added to you. Those who listen with open heart will receive more revelation. But those who don't listen with open hearts will lose what little they have. The Spirit of the Lord is moving. I want to pray for those that are watching right now. You may not have Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You may have disconnected yourself from him, but he's never left you. He loves you. It doesn't even matter what you've done. Jesus is deeper still. He said on that cross, I did this for you and you and you and you and you. And all you have to do is believe in your heart and get rid of all the other things and all the other stuff that's been, the enemy have been planted in your mind. And say, I believe in my heart that God has raised me from the dead. I'm so glad, Jesus, Jesus, I'm so glad. I'm so glad he died for us. All you got to do is raise your level of thinking, your hearts and your minds. And say, here I am, Lord. I surrender everything unto you. I give you my heart. I give you my mind. I know, Jesus, you died and you rose again. And I know you're soon to come back. And I don't want you to come back and I'm not ready. But create in me a clean heart. And renew in me the right spirit. I want to be saved. I want to be whole. Wash everything away from me, and I'll know that I can start this fresh start with you. You died on that cross just for me, and you didn't have to do that. You said you're coming back like a thief in the night. No man knows the day nor the hour when you're coming back and when you shall return. But you shall come back. I want to be ready. Sweet Jesus. I want to be ready. Thank you Jesus. for saving me. You said you're coming back on the cloud. And every eye is going to see you. Every knee is going to bow down. Every tongue is going to confess that you are Lord. Jesus. I'm so glad. You died for me. We were messed up, Lord. Uh, we don't even want to talk about the things we did. Because you gave us a new future. You said you turned again and had compassion on us. And you threw all of our sins into the depths of the sea. Well, baby, remember no more. We're so glad. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Pray for those, Father that you would continue to raise them up, build them up, where they've been torn down. Thank you, Jesus. So glad. Come on, come on. calling you right now. Jesus, he said, I'm going to wipe the tears from your face. Jesus, Jesus, Can't nobody do your life. I was a wretch undone. Ha. But then the hands of the Lord came in. Ha. 
reached way down. Pick me up. Turn me around. The love I have for him. I can't look back. Go ahead and worship him right now. Call on his name. Call on his name. Blessing you right now. Jesus. Call on his name. There's power in his name. Woo. There's healing in his name. Woo. Thank you, Lord. I dare you to call on him. I, I, I dare you to call on him this morning. Jesus. 
Ich auch.